Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Well, I decided to build that little 12 volt system. So I got the hoverboard windmill mounted. I made this little little tower thing, mounted it on the garage roof. Made some solar panel mounts. Um, decided to try tilting a little bit. These don't snow doesn't go off very easily on these so I thought maybe if I tilt these a little bit snow would go off better so got them all mounted the other day got the wires run right down there to the little weather head and go into the front corner of the garage where I'm going to set up a little test area so now I have a 12 volt system play with. I got a 24 volt system that runs the garage and my 48 volt system will be for the house. So I'm going to leave the 48 volt stuff in place for the water wheel and that windmill and uh, what little bit we get we're going to get and what we don't well it's fun watching them go around. <laughs> so I'm going to work on that uh, test area and I'll keep you guys up to date on that. I'm up here on the roof. Batteries are all the way up. You can see when the brake automatically comes on. The voltage gets too high. It seems to be working fine. This is the hoverboard one. I'll show you the little controller that put the brake on. Of course the wind will probably die down now. This little red light comes on, the brake's coming on. Yep, look at that. Every time, never fails. There we go. See the brake come on? You can see the ammeter over here. Had this hooked up for a week or so. It's done really well. I kind of like it for just a got a really small, like the hoverboard windmill. And that seems to work good. I've been working that little 12 volt system on and off for a week or so, and as you can see, the guy gets a lot of stuff out. There ain't no point in putting it back because I'm just going to get it out again for the next part of it. So. <clears throat> thought I'd show you what I come up with for a uh, bypass precharge, I guess, more or less. I made this little bracket, cheap metal, and it'll hold a push button. And I've got a 25 watt 5 ohm resistor. That we're going to mount right in place. Yeah, right there. <laughs> oh boy. Like so. And then this push button. Now we got to get the nut off it. Should have had this ready, shouldn't I? I didn't. Okay, so the push button is going to go right there, like so, and the resistor goes right there, like so, and then this terminal right here on the switch, I'll just fold it over and you can solder it, then we just put a wire from here to here, go in, and it's going to go across the contacts on here. So, you got something that you want to pre-charge, like an inverter or something, turn it off, and just hit the button, pre-charges it, and just turn the switch on. So I'm going to get that put together, and this 
this, I'm just going to hold in place with a couple of rivets. There and there. So we'll get that mounted and get that soldered up and I'll show you the results. Yeah. <clears throat> Got her finished up. Just a lead on there. That soldered to one end of the resistor, another lead there. Ring terminals just go on the connections there and you can put this on any side you want. Mine's going to be like that. So, got a couple more pieces to make and uh, get mounted, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Well, I think I finally got my overly complicated little 12 volt system put together, made up out of stuff I had left over from other stuff, <laughs> just for fun. Sort of a test station, I guess you might call it. So, I'll show you what I come up with. Just something for fun. So we got the windmill section here. This is the hoverboard one. As you can see, it's actually got some wind right now. This is the AC voltage in on one phase. This is the amperage on one phase. And this is what the DC output is. And that goes up here to a little fuse block that I put together. So these are the, the AC fuses, the 10 amps. And I got some 15 amps for the DC side. And that runs up to this little wind speed boost controller which actually seems to work pretty well. And we have a brake. Now if I flip that on, you can see she shuts right down. <laughs> Turn it back on. Show you the ammeter when I shut it down. Okay. So over here I have two 230 watt solar panels I think on the roof of the garage here right next to the windmill and I've got DC volts coming in right now the batteries are full um, well that charge controller thinks they're full <laughs> So this is the DC volts, this is the amps, and each panel has its own. It comes up here to fuse for each one, and then it comes up here to a circuit breaker for each one, which I'm using as disconnect switches, and that goes up here to this battery tender BWM controller, which is not the only thing I really had. Um, gonna look for an MPPT one sometime, but gotta have a bargain just for this thing to play with. So the idea is that I can shut I shut the solar off and then I can shut the DC out off. So this is completely disconnected. And now I have terminals on each one of these that I can hook into to test other things here on this little work area I've got set up if I wanted to. Um, I have a couple of bus bars I put together and off the bus bars we have a thousand watt pure sine wave inverter and that has its remote right now you can see it's only making 24 watts because it's running a little heating pad underneath these two little batteries here 30 amp per hour lithium iron phosphate <coughs> 
And this is the disconnect switch for the inverter. And I built, this is the little pre-charge thing. I think I showed you that previously. And this goes to the battery section. Oh, this is the output of the solar charge controller on the bottom side of this fuse. Okay. <clears throat> Got a couple of fuses for the battery section here and battery side, load side of the shunt. And I just picked up one of these just to play around with. And there's kind of mixed bag of what people think of these, but so far it seems to do alright. It's a little awkward to use and get used to, but once you mess around with it a bit, he kind of figure it out. So I can shut the system battery off and use a test battery if I want to. And I got a couple of cables on here. They go to these clip leads. This battery you might say is a test battery and this one is the what I call system battery. That's this disconnect. And then on the load side of the bus bars, I have another little test section here. And if I want to, like, play around with a little inverter or something, I got the pre-charge button on this too. And I've got this set up so I can just use wing nuts to attach the, the cables because I'm not sure what I'm going to use there. So that's pretty much the overview of the whole kit and caboodle. <laughs> like I say, I had all this stuff laying around and just made an overly complicated thing for entertainment purposes mostly. <laughs> Lots of analog meters so you can see it all happening at once. You don't have to push a button and toggle through things and you know that. So I think I got a little heater here. Let me Put the camera down, I'll hook that up, and we'll see the solar work. I got a little 250 watt heater here. We'll turn that on. I'll watch the solar. I think it should bring it down enough so that it comes on. Oh, yeah. Turn the solar back on, it might, huh? There we go. And you see the PWM controller brings the voltage down because those are um, what are they, 37 volts open circuit, I think. So we're showing what? The two of them together is a little less than 9 amps. And I'm drawing 17 amps out of the battery. And if I turn each one of the solar panels off, there you can see the total go up 26. One solar panel back on. the second solar panel back on. Like I say, just something to have fun with. Let's see what we're doing here. So, 288 watts out of the inverter. And... It's just 215 watts out of the battery here, so anyways, that's it. Like I say, it's just a whole bunch of stuff I had laying around. I found a little space here on the wall just to have some fun. So, if you enjoyed her, give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. And we'll see you next time.